Good morning and welcome back to Area 31. We're looking around here at McDermott. It is directly behind me. And we are heading north. We're now back into Oregon. It's the Oregon Nevada border. It's McDermott right there. So here's a screenshot of Google Earth showing the pinpoints that I've done so far. I was going to remove those, but I decided not to. You can see where I've been. We are at McDermott heading north towards Boise, Idaho. It's going to be kind of a long run, and that'll be one whole video because I don't yak too much here. A little bit back on track and that. And um, we'll get to Boise and restart another video there. And then we'll go south down to Twin Falls and Pocatillo, up to Idaho Falls, and that will probably end my flying day. It's going to be a good uh, hour and a half or two hours of flying. And we'll see what happens after that. So that's where we're at. Boy, this is just one heck of a long straightaway here. I mean, you can't even really see the end of it. I'm not sure what that to pick up there is going to be. But, uh, we are just flying in a really boring place. Well, it's been about close to 15 minutes. There's a small little community right there in front of the plane. I'm starting to go down in elevation. And this is called Basque Little Community. Can't really tell much about it. Doesn't look much like much of Google Earth. Just a little tiny little community. It might actually be somebody's house. But we are not losing elevation much. Or I'm, we're not dropping in elevation as far as the, uh, the land goes. It's actually it seems to be gaining. Okay, we're coming up on an airport here. As you can see, I'm pretty far to the left. Uh, 95. Get back over there, of course. But this is Rome State Airfield. There's not much to it. There's not even a building out there with it. Just a little airfield out here in the middle of nowhere along 95. All right, we finally come to where 95 turns right. If we were to go left, we'd be on 70 feet. So we are really high in elevation here. I think I'm just going to leave it there. We'll start our turn. I know my buddy in Idaho Falls has a car <clears throat> shop there. They get a lot of snow. I've seen pictures of the snow they have in their house uh, in that area. And they Two, three feet. So, I don't know what the elevation is going to be like. We're at still at about 5,500 here, probably 5,000 right down there, but 95. All right, continuing on toward Boise. Okay, I am coming into Jordan Valley. I've been flying for an entire hour. And if I were to keep going straight, I would run into the Idaho border. Really, really close. Probably a half a mile. Now, let's call it a mile from here. But what I need to do is I need to take a left right here. Right where that intersection's at. See it down there? So I need to take a left. I'm pretty zoomed in to the This is 95 continuing. So now 95 is going to continue north. And I'll flip back there. Let's get zoomed down. Let's see, zoomed in. Uh, so there's our little Jordan Valley area. Over there is Idaho. And we're going to continue north up 95. Okay, we're starting to come into the Boise area up until then it's basically been like this and there's my there's one there's 95 down there 
It's just been nothing but kind of desert wasteland. Uh, we are now coming into it. So, let's go out here. And get onto the correct highway. Where's it at? Way over. I think so. I kind of got a little, a little lost. Yeah, it's got to be out there. So anyway, this is going to be my first big city, and it's going to get kind of hairy in there as far as roads jumbling up and everything. So I did a quick save on it just in case something stupid happens, and when you're flying this low to the ground, something stupid. We're now going to make a right-hand turn. We're heading north right now, mostly north. And now we're going. Oh my God! I'm so low. Uh, so now we're going to be heading east, and this is going to go for quite a while. And this is going to eventually take us into a place, another larger city much larger than the last one. And it's going to be called Nampa. N-A-M-P-A. And that lake area right off to the right is Deer Flat National Wildlife Refuge according to Google Earth. So I need to see down here because I'm going to change free freeways again. I'm on 55 and east right now. And we're going to turn where there's going to be a big stack of freeways here. And we're going to turn onto I-84. And I personally have been on Interstate 84 in Portland, from downtown Portland area. Interstate 84 runs along the Columbia River, east towards Pendleton, and obviously it just keeps going, and ends up all the way down here to Boise. Pendleton's not that far. So. Boise, actually. I've not been out that far, but I've been up as far as the Dam of the Dallas years and years and years ago. Okay, we're here in Nampa. Yeah, we're just looking out the windows at the city. And let's go back out here because the road now turns. This is 55, and it's going to make a turn. And zoom in. We can see the turn lane the on-ramp for Interstate 84. That's going to be this giant freeway right here. So that's what we're going to follow after. And it's going to take us eventually into Boise, but it's still going to be quite a ways away. And you can see 84 from that direction. All right, let's continue on and get on 84. And start heading that direction. Pretty low elevation, we're at about 2,700 feet. Alright, here we go, this is a big freeway here. Oh my goodness. Oh, I can't stall it at this elevation. If I stall, I'm going to be landing on the freeway, hopefully. Okay, we're heading almost east now. I-84, heading towards Boise, Idaho. I've got to consult Google Earth. Now we're almost heading directly east. So I'll go. Okay, we are seeing Boise International. That's it right there. So we're going to go down here so far, and then 84 is going to go right, and 184 will go that way. So we're not too far away. Okay, here we are at the crossroads. I-84 goes south. I-184 goes kind of north, where that ultimately goes. Well, to the downtown area, which is over, kind of off the left wing area over there. It's the downtown area. So we're going to go down here, just get a good uh, sight of Boise International. It's actually been pretty easy to navigate through here. 
Without Google Earth, it would be hopelessly lost as an engine already. So we start the video right down here, and the next one will start from here, and hopefully we will get all the way to Idaho Falls a little bit later on today. Well, here is the big Boise International Airport right along the freeway. It's like a pretty big airport. Anyway, it is time to stop the game. This video is long enough, I'm sure. So we'll pick it up here next time and head to Idaho Falls. So hope you enjoy this video. If you do, please like and subscribe and share all that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.